Hi, I'm Dr. Molly with Your Goals Physical Therapy. And this is the third video in a series that I'm doing on diabetes. So diabetes actually, um, per the CDC, there are about 35 million people in the United States that have diabetes and they suggest that about 20% of them don't even know that they have diabetes. 20% of the, the people that have diabetes, um, the CDC believes they don't even know that they have it, which to me is kind of sad because when you have diabetes, there are like um, physical things that you're feeling um, that can make you feel depressed, that can make you feel tired, um, that can make you just not feel good in general. And for you to not know that there are things that you can do to help that um, just makes me a little bit sad. So I wanted to go over and specifically how diabetes affects your kidneys, um, because that is actually one of the things that ends you on dialysis is when your your when the diabetes gets bad enough uh, that your kidneys have been damaged, you end up on dialysis. So, but how does that happen? So essentially, diabetes right keeps all of this extra sugar in your blood, and then your kidneys are a giant filter. So if you just think about a house filter, so we have air filters in our house. I also have a German Shepherd, so that air filter gets its <laughs> has its work cut out for it. Every you know every three months, there's lots and lots of dog hair. It does not matter how much you vacuum, um, lots and lots of dog hair clogs up our house air filter, and then that's on top of the regular dirt, hair, things like that, that the air filter is constantly filtering out so that it doesn't go into our AC unit and so that our AC unit doesn't get overworked, right? And living here in Houston, your AC is very, very important. And so um, we definitely change our air filter quite frequently. But unlike my air filter that I can change so that I don't add extra stress to my AC unit, your kidneys are your kidneys for life. And so when we have a lot of sugar. So if you eat highly dense food, like foods that are dense in carbohydrates, proteins, um, and even fats, then your liver, your kidney and everything has to filter all of that food out. So, um, I think in my first video, I showed the difference between like how densely packed, um, triscuits are versus a bowl of fruit. And we can say one or the other is better, but just in terms of how many carbohydrates come out of one versus how many come out of the other, your kidneys are gonna to have to work a whole lot harder to process out the six triscuits than they will your uh, the bowl of, of uh, strawberries is what the example is. And so over time, just getting bombarded with all of that, um, your kidneys get clogged, they start to break down um, and the signs of your kidneys breaking down is actually a lot of water retention um, and you'll actually have waste products not being filtered out. So for every process that happens in our body, there is a, a waste product, right? So, um, so for every chemical reaction, so anytime you build a muscle, anytime you, um, you eat, I mean, basically anything we do, there's always a waste product. So your kidneys are supposed to flush that out and that helps keep your, um, uh, your blood pH at um, a steady level. And so that's what your kidneys are doing, just constantly and constantly and constantly. And so over time though, if they're getting bombarded with excess sugar, excess protein, it's not just sugar, but in this, that's what we're talking about here, um, there can be damage that's caused. And so then that filtration process is not as effective. Um, and so that's when you end up on dialysis and have other problems. So um, that, and that to me is what's sad to hear that 20% of these people um, may not even know that they have diabetes. So they don't know that they have control over how fast that happens. If it's already in the process of happening, they can slow it down. If you haven't gotten it, you have the ability to prevent it um, because it really does your food is directly related to what is in your body and then how much your body has to work to process it out. Um, and so even just improving one thing in your diet or just adding a little bit of exercise into your, your life can make a huge impact on your overall health 
and um, how much uh, diabetes impacts your life. So um, again, if somebody could benefit from this information, um, please uh, pass the uh, video along. Otherwise, leave your comments below. I love um, hearing what people have to think. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.